Hello, everyone. I think we're live. Yes, no, maybe. I think we are. It says we have an excellent connection. You all will have to let me know if that is accurate or not. Hello, everyone. Hello, Chrissy. Hello, Candy. Hello, Robin. Hello, everyone. Hello, Donna. Hello, Gina. Hi, everybody. Hello, Donna. Donna number two. that I put those up there when I'm looking for them because I know I will be looking for them. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Darren. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Miss Lily. Hello, my, uh, my little artistic friend. Hello, hello. Hello, Lori. Hello, Shannon. Hi, everyone. Uh, so tonight, as I promised, um, I am going to finish this card this evening. Oh. Can you still see me? Yeah. Um, I just had to make sure my mic was on. I know that you would tell me, but I did double check. Let me put my keyboard over to the side here. Um, as promised, we are going to finish this card this evening. I'm really, really excited about this card because I've had plans for this card for quite some time. I have my pencil sharpener because we do have to use a pencil this evening just to map something out. Um, let's see, what else are we going to use? Um, we're going to use uh, one of the new conversation clippings. Uh, we are going to use this stamp set to put a couple of things behind them in the window. We are going to use a piece of uh, the Perfect Blend um, marker paper, because we can watercolor on it too. We are going to use for the window. So of course we could do, um, we could do, uh, the unboxing is going to be tomorrow actually, so you didn't miss it. Uh, I thought it would be really cool to do a window like this instead of just regular acetate. I mean, we sell regular acetate, but I mean, when, when, you, when you have the... Uh, the beautiful, beautiful um, sequence sheets at your disposal, why not use that? <laughs> why not use that instead, right? Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to use that. We're going to use some of the Simon Hurley inks to color. Um, what else? We need a water brush. We need a piece of, uh, I'm just using a piece of plastic from a, um, from a product uh, for my palette because that's the best palette that I've ever, uh, ever used. We need a piece of cardstock for our card base, and that's really it for right now. Um, yeah, that's it for right now. Um, except, um, I have a little surprise for y'all. Something arrived early today, uh, and I decided to do uh, different bundles uh, to make it a little bit easier on everyone, because I know that um, bundles are easier, and discounted bundles are also easier. Um, some of the brand new Brutus Renault dies arrived already which i'm super excited about so i'm just going to show you them real quick we're not going to use them tonight we are going to be using them a lot this year these are the first eight dies uh we are hopefully going to release about um eight to twelve dies every quarter uh we're probably going to end up releasing more than that but um I wanted to show you uh, the first three that we're releasing right now because these are the first three that came in and we've been waiting forever for them. So um, here they are. So first and foremost, we have the cotton tail. So this is the cotton tail die set. I want you to notice that this uh, backer, this backer is actually bigger, a little bit bigger than an A2 size, or excuse me, than an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. These are big die sets. They are very, look at my hand compared to this. So when you go to the website, when you go to producerno.com and you take a look at the um, Hello Crystals Creations, 
if you uh, take a look at the website, I have added something new to it, uh, to the website, which will show you what the dies look like um, next to an uh, A2 size card. But you can see on the back, this kind of gives you a, a, an idea of what all of them will look like when they're cut out, because obviously they are always backwards whenever you're looking at them here. Uh, but we're going to be using this a lot. And uh, the new product images, I worked very, very hard on them on the website, so I hope you love them. Uh, it took me a while uh, to do them in uh, color and do them, cut them out of paper. You'll see. You'll see the new product images. I really, really love the new product images. So this is the, um, this is called Cottontail, and it's great. It's a really great one. Uh, then we have uh, probably one of my absolute favorites from this whole set. This is the uh, Dotted Heart die set. Now, there's something about this die set that I want you to notice. So, I've now included, and I'll pull this one out to show you, because I think this is really cool. So, let me... It's a really big die set. So, let me show you real quick. So, the way this die set works is this particular die... Let me see if I can pull it off here without making a mess. Well, probably not. So, see how this die... I'm just going to show you it on here. See how this die cuts out just the polka dots? Well, I've included an outside die too. So you can either cut out the whole thing, and we're going to talk more about this. I just know that once um, once you start seeing that they're on the website, uh, you're going to say, uh, what's going on? What are those dies? So I wanted to show you them real quick. The same with this one. It also has an outer cutting die, but it will cut, it, it does cut out the outside area. You'll see and then um, missing you, and of course it has an outer cut uh, line too. Don't worry, we're gonna be using these all year. Believe me, all year, <laughs> all year. And then of course it will show you on the back. Hold on one second. I wanted to start twenty. Uh, wanted to start twenty twenty one with a bang with some really great die sets. And again, it has our new packaging. I know I love the hearts too. I'm gonna to be using them quite a bit, I have a feeling. Okay, and then last but certainly not least, and this is not, of course, the full die collection. This is just what we have right now. Probably my favorite die that I have ever designed uh, in the respect of um, versatility. Say hello to the Lace Borders die set. This die set, y'all, look at this compared to my hands. We're going to be using this die set a lot. So you can take a look on the back. Look at the beautiful, so it makes these absolutely stunning lace borders. And then it also gives you the outside. You also, um, you also uh, can uh, do the outside. So these are, you can see... How big these are in comparison to my hand. They're giant. Um, but yeah, so take a look and uh, see those. Also, if you are a subscriber, you might want to put the uh, put the bundle in your cart and see what the price is. Um, I dare to tell you that uh, you are uh, you're getting a very special uh, a very special discount, a very special extra discount, I guess we could say, because I love the subscribers so much. I mean, I love all of you. I love all of you. But uh, the subscribers, uh, we're trying to do some special things for them this year. Uh, and uh, the first one is you'll see that you get even more off of the bundle if you are a subscriber. So, all right. So this is uh, our card for tonight. So we are, um, we're going to get started. We're going to get rocking and rolling. Uh, first and foremost, we need to cut out our uh, front piece here so we can make sure everything's lined up correctly. Hello, Jen. So I'm going to grab my um, cutting apparatus, and we're going to just start cutting this out. Um, you know, it's close. I'm so glad I did this on Not Your Mama's because it is going to hold the, um, the watercolor beautifully. Hello. All right, so now we're going to... And again, you can just cut a little bit off and then, you know, kind of zhuzh it up a little bit, cut a little bit less, you know, cut, you know. We're just looking for four and a quarter by five and a half is what we're looking for. All right, so there is four and a quarter and five and a half. And for anyone that is just joining that did not see what I did last night, uh, last night what I did with this scene is 
Uh, this is the stamp set for the Inspiration Box this month. So if you are an Inspiration Box subscriber, this is the stamp set that you'll be getting. This is what it looks like. It has all sorts of little goodies. Uh, it is called... Oh, it's on the front now. Sweet Valentine. And you also receive the coordinating die set. And this is what the coordinating die set looks like. So you uh, get both in your inspiration box. Plus you get sprinkles. You get, I, I probably shouldn't say too much. You get these little uh, sentiments. You get you get all sorts of stuff. Uh, it's really it's a really cool box. I think you're really going to love it. So let's go ahead and pop our card out here. Again, this is the... Um, this is the, yeah, it's a really, I can't wait for you to see the kit this month. Plus, oh, I, I think I put my pen on my backpack already. Um, there's a pen, a really cool pen. All right, so what we're going to do uh, is I am going to take this piece here. I'm going to layer this on top of here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a very, very, very faint... Okay, and what that's going to do is that's going to show me where this is going to be covered up whenever we layer it on top of it, so that whenever I go to stamp, so you can see now, uh, you're probably not going to be able to see, let's shelter the light, do you see? Okay, so we want to make sure that this area, because you're going to be able to see inside of this window, we want to make sure that this is... Uh, has some some little goodies uh, stamped on it so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw a little let's say this is gonna be like a little imaginary shelf line okay well, let's do that one more time let's do a little bit darker luckily this pencil will erase so that's the first imaginary shelf line and then we'll have our second imaginary shelf line okay so now these are two different uh, Two different imaginary shelf lines, okay? See that? And now what we're gonna do is we are going to grab our, uh, this is the Love You More stamp set. We're gonna grab our Misty. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're gonna take our imaginary shelf line Oh, good candy. Well, yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of goodies. A lot more goodies where that came from, too. All right, so let's go ahead and... So we have our imaginary shelf line. So with the imaginary shelf line, and I, I know I keep saying imaginary shelf line, you are going to take your little, your little goodies. So these are like little candies. These are also little candies. We're just going to line them up here. You don't have to be able to fully see them. The idea is, uh, the idea is when you are looking into this little window, that you just get the idea that there are a whole bunch of other candies. We're going to pretend this is where, in the this this particular little soda place. We'll pretend that this is where they um, where they package up all the... Okay, this is going to drive me bonkers. These stamps are so sticky because they're brand new. So we're going to pretend that this is where the, the candy gets all... Um, bunched up to to be purchased, I guess you could say. It gets divvied up. Okay, there we go. If I wasn't, if I wasn't such a perfectionist, this wouldn't be quite nearly as, as, as aggravating as that just was. Alright, so let's go ahead and ink this guy up. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love this. 
This is going to be so fun. I can already tell. I love it so much. I love it so much. Okay, so we just we went a little bit above the imaginary line, but you'll see it'll be okay. It's no big deal. No biggie. No biggie. All right, so now I'm going to just blot off all of that excess ink so that we can reposition now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this line. We're going to end up doing a new line anyway, so... Do y'all can y'all kind of see kind of get the gist of what I'm what I'm up to here? Can y'all kind of get the idea? Of what I'm doing. I have good luck using your Oh. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's a good idea because it doesn't it doesn't stick. Well, Belinda, you got here just in time. Just in time to save me. Thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and stamp this one now. Deal, what happened? Oh, are you talking about the dies? It is a really good deal. My mom gets her second one on Monday. Okay. Squeaky clean. Let's clean off this guy too. All right. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. It smells so good. I tell you what, that squeak clean smells so good. So good. Mm. Alright, so now we can pop this out of here. Oh my goodness, those are just so those are just the most perfect little jars. Oh yeah, Katie. She has. She is. Um. She is. Fully. She's. She's taken 800 milligrams of ibuprofen. She's. They. The, at the hospital, they've. Um. Now she. I should preface to people that don't know. My mother is not in the hospital. My mother used to be a director of nursing in a hospital, but she retired last Monday and she actually started at Brutus Monroe. Um. Yesterday. She'll be. Um. She'll be back to work. She'll be back to work tomorrow. She's only working two days a week. Um. But she uh got her first shot and now there's um a few people that have gotten their second shot at the hospital so they're all like you know swapping stories and telling each other what to do and you know it's all that all that um teamwork okay so let's see here so they're all swapping stories and saying you know do this do that yeah, she, they're all kind of swapping stories about how, um, you know, some, some it's a little bit easier than others. It's, you know, it's all, all over the place. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is we are going to, we need to create kind of like a, um, kind of like, I guess you could say like a background, I guess you could say, or like a shelving unit. So what I'm going to do for that, I have an idea, is I'm going to go back in and I'm going to create, I don't know, hold on, I got a notification for my friend Halloween Happy on YouTube, and now I can't, now I can't see anything that's going on, there we go, got his first round today, yeah, yep, 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 okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to draw our little shelf line again. We're just going to, you know, kind of line it up the best that... Well, let's line this up with our beautiful grid mat here. Well, let's move it down a little 
it so I can see it. Go ahead and pop that like that. So there's our first shelf. And then our second shelf here. All right, so now we have our line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some of the Gur ink from Simon Hurley. And all this ink was just restocked, which is awesome. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and I'm going to paint just a, just a gentle, um, I'm just, I can't wait to just have anything, anything half normal again. That's all, that's all I'm looking for. Just anything half normal again. That's all I want. Just half normal. It doesn't even have to be fully normal. I mean, whatever, whatever fully normal is <laughs> anymore. All right, so I'm just going and I'm just adding some color. That's all I'm doing. Just adding in some color. Very, very simple. I'm going to add a little bit more color here. All right, so we've got our first shelf done. And then our second shelf. Now we're going to go in and, again, we're just adding just a little bit of color. Just to, just to give the illusion because you're not going to see too too much i mean you're going to see it but you're not going to see too too much of this in the background does that make sense it's not going to be it's not going to be super um prevalent in the background because it is uh going to be behind the behind the window but we want to add a little bit of a little bit of color so that and we're going to do a little bit of a wash out too because again it's a little we're not uh we're not getting crazy with the color do you see what i see how that's just you know kind of a fun and funky can you hold it up to the camera a bit yep so i've just added some some quick and easy shelving now um, we're going to go in and I'm going to do some colorful, we'll start with, whoopsies, we will start with Bee Sting, of course it's the last one I'll pick up, and we're just going to do some rainbow candies, so we'll start with Bee Sting, and I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to color little dots. And on this particular one, the dots are very small. I know there are quite a few of you uh, that will most likely color every little dot individually. I know there are uh, some of you out there. I've met you. That is fine. If you want to, uh, if you want to go in and uh, color every single one of them, you can. Um, I uh, certainly uh, will not. <laughs> be coloring them all individually i mean i'll give them a you know give them a good a good go ahead but i'm not i won't be coloring every single one of them in but you of course can go in and you can also now i'm using some prom queen which is a pink um i will uh would use maybe some glossy accents on this would be very pretty uh, to make it actually look like glass. And I don't know why it's doing the whole zoom thing again. I'm sorry, guys. Can you see a little bit better now? I'll have to try to try to zoom in, maybe. I don't know what is. Uh... Hello, Fatima. Hello, hello. Sorry, I was just, uh, she would try to fussy cut them. I think she probably will fussy cut them, actually. 
sorry, are my um, just got a text message from my friend and uh, carpenter slash handyman. There, he's coming to put the barn doors in tomorrow at Brutus Monroe in the kitchen, the new kitchen. The new kitchen is getting barn doors from the loaning dock to the, whoopsies, loaning dock to the kitchen. Well, hello, Kelly. Thank you for joining us. I will use over the moon. Over the moon is a very light shade. So we might not even be able to really see it, but we're going to use it anyway. I've used over the moon many a times, but it's not, it doesn't really, I think there's a, is there's, I know I've said this before and I've asked all of you, there's a new yellow, right? A little brighter. I feel like we've had this conversation before, have we? Have we had this conversation before? I feel like we have, maybe. Okay, so now we'll do green. We'll do later gator. And now I know. Now I know. I don't know if Heather. I don't know if Heather's here to give you a strike. She was cutting out guys today. She could be resting. She might be resting. She's had a long day. Um. The um. What was I gonna say now? I was gonna say something. Must not have been that important. But yeah, the kitchen is done now. Which is exciting. Oh, these little candies. I'm gonna don't worry, I'll pull it up to the monitor to show you. Now we'll go in with some blue. Blue skies to be exact. This is off topic, but how do you know when embossing folders are too old? Um, they do uh, begin, they, they'll begin to wear down over time. Uh, oh, embossing powders. Uh, I thought you said folders. Um, if embossing powders are too old, generally they won't melt anymore. But I mean, they should last, a, I mean, I'd say at least a year or two. I mean, I have some of the original Brutus Renault powders. Uh, I have some of the original Brutus Renault powders, like old powders. Yeah, if you say, if you say Heather Collins one more time, she does. She appears. All right, I need a new blue. Oh, yeah, Slippery One Wet is the other yellow. Let's use that real quick. Whoopsies. I'm back. All right, and then... I don't have the new blue, I don't think, but we'll use the purple, and then that should finish us up. Perfect amount of color. I don't know about all of you, but I love, 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 love color. Like, I have some that I don't melt this with. Oh, they're all Bruce Rose. Mm. Yeah, they, they could uh, they could be uh, expired. I can only say the Brutus Monroe ones. Um, I know that they have a really, really long shelf life because they don't have any additives in them. Um, there are some embossing powders out there on the market that I... Uh, and I'm not going to mention any names because I don't know. They may have, they may be reformed at this point. Uh, but there were some embossing powders that what they'll do is they'll add um, filler, like a wax filler. And the wax filler, uh, what it does is it, you know, they can sell you, they can sell you more powder or less powder for more money. So. Um, that might be one that has a filler in it, to tell you the truth. I can tell you the Brutus Monroe powders do not have a, little, a single filler in them. They will last you a very, very, very long time. And oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I saw today as I was looking at the order board how many 
folks uh, purchased the... Um, how many of you purchased the new ice cream embossing potters? I just thought that was so cool. There we go. So there's our little candies. How easy and simple is that? Now, of course, you could drag down this color a little bit more if you want. I'm not going to stress about it. I think it's fine the way it is. Um, again, you could do whatever you want. Um, uh, yeah, when they stink too, there's... Uh, yeah. Um, you know, you could drag this down. You could do... I think I'm going to add a little tiny bit of a blue hue to the glass. And I'm actually going to use a Brutus Monroe Aqua Pigment for this. Um, you could use obviously the Simon Hurley ink as well, but I'm going to use a Brutus Monroe Aqua Pigment because I can really, really, really water this down, um, and really get the light, uh, really, really light diluted color that I'm looking for. I mean, you could do that again with the ink, but it's a little, it's a little bit easier when you're using an Aqua Pigment. Gonna add a little tiny bit of color there. Ooh, this aqua pigment is beautiful. And again, don't worry about staying inside the lines. This is kind of a fun abstracty. And there we go, just adding a little bit of aqua pigment. You can see it just gives the the glass a little shine. I love this. I got my first inspiration box ordered. Oh good, Kelly, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. I can't wait for y'all to see next. Well. I can't wait for y'all to see the, really, I guess I should say, I can't wait for you to see this entire year. This entire year is, um, it's a really good year for inspiration boxes. It's a really, it's a really, really good year. It's a really good year for subscriptions in general. All right. So now we're going to go in and we're going to start to color our little scene here. Okay. So I'm going to try to. We'll try to get the, adjust the camera so that you all can see what I'm coloring. And that made it 10 times worse. There we go. All right. Hello, Kim. Please take your excuse to the, uh, to the uh, teacher's assistant at the front of the room. You are, uh, so you can be excused. <laughs> That's okay. Me too about this. Oh, good, Laura. It's, it's, a, it's a really good one this month. There's only a couple left, and I know that um, Cassie will be getting her soon, so y'all know what that means. Uh, I think Cassie and Shannon will be getting there, so that means that uh, they'll be gone very quickly. Uh, Kim, that listen, I cannot be held I cannot be held accountable for um, the excitement that the Brutus Monroe products bring, because <laughs> I can tell you they bring me a lot of excitement too. <laughs> They bring me a lot of excitement, too. Cell pitch. Um, so, yeah, so I'm really excited. I just I just uh, took a quick gander, and I see that a, quite a few of you also have um, purchased the new dies. I'm really excited. Yeah, they will be gone, gone, gone. So again, for this, I am just doing uh, one of my favorite techniques, which is a wash technique. Uh, let me see if I could zoom in. I don't know. Can I? Can I zoom in? I don't think I can. I don't want to mess it up. No, I can't move in. I don't want to mess it up. I'll just bring it up and show you. <laughs> Whoopsies. Okay, I don't want to mess it up. Sorry. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Okay. I know there's a, probably a way to do it, but I'm not going to. I don't want to mess with it while we're live. So again, I'm just going in and I'm just doing a color wash. We're going to pretend that this is a... Let's just say this isn't a newer... Uh, the second payment invoice. They are going out tomorrow, I believe, is what he uh, what he said today. I'm pretty sure they go out tomorrow. So we are going to pretend that this is not exactly when will the word dies be available. Uh, Kim, I'm hoping next week. Maybe it uh, could be tomorrow. I'm not sure. Uh, but I can tell you uh, that they're probably going to be released in waves. 
Uh, just because there are um, there are eight of them. Well, not eight word dies, but there are eight period. Uh, so they're going to be released in uh, in waves, but it could be tomorrow. The thing is, I could tell you that some of the dies, uh, these ones that we just released today, are uh, selling really really quickly. Um, so, oh, we could do that, huh, Fatima? Um, so if there's any, if there are anything that are not, if there are any dies that are not left over, like if we sell out of a certain die, I guess I should say. If we sell out of one of the, the newer dies, we will be getting more dies in. I just want everyone to be aware that some of the some of the newer dies um, that I just showed or just just had shown is um, they're going, going, going. So especially I could tell you the uh, the lace ones are the, I mean, the bundle right now looks like it's the the most popular. As I'm looking at the the spec uh, the spec screen, that it kind of shows me it shows me things as they're happening on the website. Just in case I need to help with something, but it's not really much that I can do uh, other than kind of guide you in a different guide you in a different direction if you get stuck. But it's um luckily it's uh. It allows me to see if there's any trouble. Embossing folders for ice cream. Hmm. Never really thought about that. I like that, though. All right, so for this one, we're going to go in the opposite direction. Just to give it a little bit of uh, visual interest. And uh, Chuck's images are a lot of fun to color. Chuck Carson is our lead illustrator at Brutus Monroe. I don't know uh, if all of you know that, but he is just absolutely the absolute, absolute best. I, think we've I feel like we've talked about this before, but we'll talk about it again because he is the absolute best. We are so fortunate to have him. So, so fortunate. All right, so I'm going to flip this over. I know this makes a lot of people nervous when I flip something over and I color it upside down, but it, it makes sense for me. <laughs> it makes it a lot easier for me to see, and I think that's just because of the, uh, it's the kind of the perspective of it. I don't really see the, uh, what's what I'm looking for? I don't really see the, the image that I'm coloring, I see more of the outline of what I'm coloring, so it makes it easier for me to uh, do this if it's upside down. I don't know why. I'm sure there's some sort of... Are you ever going to have your mom craft you on a life? Donna, that would be fun. Um, maybe someday. That would be that would be fun. I think she would like that. So, yeah. Uh, I would never say never. So, uh, yeah. Maybe someday she'll um, she'll be crafting with me. That would be fun. I would love that. Thank you for that suggestion. Hello, Tina. I love that suggestion. All right. In this top area, um, you could put some the sentiment like, be mine, I love you, XOXO. I'm not going to put anything up there right now. I do that for drawing. Also, move please in case you're wondering. Oh, perfect. Oh, Crystal, that's great. Oh, I love that. That's really, really great. All right, so now we're going to go in, and we are going to use the Brutus Monroe um, Aqua Pigment again because I'm going to do some of these little jars. Remember, just a little dab will do you with the Brutus Monroe Aqua Pigments. That's all you need. You don't need a whole lot. I'm really going to water that down. Okay. Just add that directly to our little goblets there. Going to add a little bit to these little kind of, I guess they're like a metal piece. Kind of add a little visual interest. 
drive to Bruce Monroe. Oh my goodness, I would love that. I would, Donna, you, that would make me so. Y'all don't know how happy it makes me. And I'm going to color his pants real quick while we have this out. You all don't know how happy it makes me when y'all come visit us. I mean, I know it's been a while since you can come visit us, but you have no idea how excited I get. I mean, if anybody's ever been to the store, the word I miss you that just released with the dollar dice. Is that how you'll release the word dice? Uh, no, Kim. There is a full set of word dice coming as well. There's a big full set coming as well. So I wanted to include some additional word dice, but that is uh, actually my uh, cursive handwriting. So yes, that's the handwriting. A lot of them will be in this year, uh, but it's not, I guess, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's not, uh, they will not all, like you won't have to get just that, if that makes sense. I don't know if that made sense. All right, so now I'm going to use a little bit more Brutus Monroe Aqua Pigment. I'm going to use the red. There's just no other red, in my humble opinion, uh, that compares to the Brutus Monroe red in the Aqua Pigment, so I always uh, reach for that when I can. It's just a very, very true, um, like, candy apple red. It's just really pretty. And I don't know if any of you have ever used the Brutus Monroe red. You, you get it. It is just, you see that? Oh, Mwah. It's just gorgeous. Just beautiful. All right, and then on, uh, as Fatima suggested, luckily there is a little puppy dog. There's multiple puppy dogs on this uh, add-on stamp set. See these little puppies? So you could actually put this little puppy would fit perfectly on that store. I mean, you could do whatever you want, but create your own ending. It's blood red. Yep, it's definitely it's definitely a blood red. That is for sure. All right, so now I'm going to grab and I'm going to put a little couple little dabs of the red into our candies. Because we're going to do the same thing with our candies. All right. Wipe that off there. We're going to clean out our brush as best we can. Reds are tough to get out uh, when you're painting with them. Okie dokie. So now I know that I saw, yep, so we have some wolf is the next color we're going to use, which is like a grayish brown, the best way I can explain it. And we will use that for... The stools. Okay, and I think I want to make her dress purple. I don't know why, it just keeps speaking to me. Purple, I think I'm going to do her dress in purple. I'm going to do his shirt in purple so they match. I like that idea. And I think she's going to be, I think they're both going to be blondes. Okay, so I've just, oh goodness, I forgot to, oh, it's because I wasn't using color, that's okay. All right, so we're going to use, this is called Crown Me. First, we're going to add a little bit of Crown Me to the candies. Okay. Now let's go ahead and add some color to his shirt. Your stamp girl looks like the girls from Family Circus. I noticed that too. I, yes, it's, I love it. It's like a mix of all of my favorite comics when I grew up. Like Archie and Family Circus. I think that, uh, I think that Chuck may have, may have pulled some inspiration from that, which I love. All right, so now let's grab some Slippery One Wet for the hair. The furnace just turned on and it's a really big furnace for this house so you're probably going to hear it so i apologize 
I apologize in advance. And now I've learned that a really good skin tone, well, a very, really good Caucasian skin tone, I guess I should say, is the um, the rosy cheeks and the, now you have to get it just right though, that's the thing. The rosy cheeks and uh, the one that I'm using right now. Whoops. Might be a little bit too much. See, I told you, you just gotta, gotta get it just right. There we go. Her cheek just got a little extra rosy. There we go. Oh my goodness, I love how this is turning out. Look how fun! See, her cheek got a little extra rosy. A little too much yellow, but that's okay. She doesn't mind. She's about to eat ice cream. She's about to eat candies and ice cream. I doubt that she's... I doubt that she minds that, uh... She got a little extra... A little extra rosy. Alright, so now let's add... Let's grab a little bit of green... For the candies. And don't worry, I will get their shoes. I know there are... Uh, some of you get ready to shout at me. Christopher, the shoes! I'll get them. Don't you worry, I'll get them. All right. So now, let me grab some more of the gur. She is blushing. There you go. Perfect. All right. We're gonna do a little shoes now. A little darker than the background, so we can see it. There we go. And that, my friends, is all she wrote for them i think we're going to do a little let me grab a little bit of the little bit of the um wolf and a little bit of the gur to just do some and again you could go in and you could use if you have like a silver marker i mean the sky's the limit folks if you want to go in with a silver marker and do the uh the little soda fountain i mean there's so much you could do Okay, so let's go ahead and stack these puppies up again. Uh-oh. Okay. All right, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to cut the window piece. Let's see. How do I want to do this? First, let's have a sip of water. Oh, Laura, that's such a great idea. That's a really good idea. And when you get the, um, the best thing is, is look, when you get these little strips, there's one that says happy anniversary. And it comes in the box. All right, so I'm going to pop this right on the back here. Okay. I'm actually going to use the pop-up dots uh, as the adhesive for that because it's silly to waste other adhesive. But we're already using the Brutus and Row pop-up dots. So these are the new Easy Tab dots from Brutus and Row. So we're going to go ahead and let's just place this. Let's see. We'll place it this way. Oh, no. Let's do it this way. Well, it doesn't matter. And I'm just going to place a pop dot there. Here, here, now y'all can see, and in this corner, now I'm going to place a pop dot right behind his head, is that his head or her head, I can't see, and then maybe one right here just for good measure, and then we'll just pop a couple, we'll just pop the corners up. Don't worry, we do have a uh, foam tape equivalent coming soon. But I just love using these. They're just, they make life so simple because they have the pull tabs on them. And when I'm making a card, nothing, nothing is better than simple, right? 
So now we have all of our tabs on the back. And look at that window. Oh my goodness, I love this card. Okay, so now... Oh, I just got a sneak peek of what it's going to look like through the window. I can't show you yet. Can't. It's, I'm just, I will. I will. I can't. I just can't show you yet. All right. So... Uh, actually, we're not going to do the... We won't do the card base yet. Because I think I might do something different for the card base. Maybe we'll do the card base tomorrow. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and now we're going to peel off. So now remember, look, all I have to do is grab these little tabs. And it makes life so much easier to peel off the back of your pop dots. Because all you have to do is grab your... Uh, Imagine if you put, um, like, a little light, like, you know, the little Chibitronics, or, you know, there's a whole bunch of different kinds out there. Imagine if you put a little light in there. How cool would that be? That's okay, Maria. Luckily, I'm syndicated. So, <laughs> luckily, I'm syndicated. So, you can, uh, just rewatch, rewatch the, rewatch the program. Okay. So now we'll go ahead and place this as strategically as possible. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's exactly how I hoped it would be. Are you ready? Look inside of the window. So now, when someone looks in, they're going to be able to see it. Like, you can't really see it probably well on camera, but see how from the side you can see the candy? Oh, I love it so much. Now, remember, when you get this, hold on, testing, testing, one, two, three. When you get this home, you get the die. Let me go back got so much going on here you get the die that will cut this window out let me show you so you get the die that will cut the window out you could put whatever you want behind this window if you have a skyline if you have a i mean there's so much that you could put behind i mean you know the sky's the limit it's really the sky is the limit so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a uh, let's see which sentiment do I want to use. I think we'll use nothing says I love you like ice cream. And remember, you also, as if that wasn't enough, you also are going to receive these sentiments in your uh, in your inspiration box as well. This is the we decided when we were debuting them, which is what we're doing this month. We're debuting them that. Uh, we would give them to you in the box to try them. Thank you, Miss Anna. All right, so now we're going to take uh, the little strip that says uh, nothing says, Woo, my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. That was almost a very serious situation. Whew. All right, so now we're going to take the Bruce Monroe. Easy Squeeze Clear Glue, which now has a new label. It's really, really nice. I just saw it the other day. I like I, I when I designed the stuff, which I just did, well, it was probably like a couple months ago. I designed the new label for this, um, so it doesn't wear off because we were having uh, we were having a lot of folks that it was wearing off because they were using them so much. So I redesigned it to a, it's a, called a UV coat label. It's you know, more than you probably care about, uh, but it. Um, the new ones just came in and it looked it looked really great the other day all right so i'm using liquid adhesive i usually use a liquid adhesive when i do a sentiment just because uh well number one because uh it makes it a lot easier for placement and number two you have time to move it around so look at that nothing says i love you like ice cream right my cara nothing says i love you like ice cream Oh, I love it so much. So now, I mean, we have a little bit of extra time. Would you want to see, would you want to maybe see kind of how maybe one of the dies cut out? Hmm. 
So anybody that just joined us recently, um, I surprised everyone this evening. Surprise! And I launched three of the dies early. Because, <laughs> you know, it's just the way I roll. <laughs> so, uh, uh, right now we've released three of them early. They are in a bundle. If you are a subscriber, you get an extra subscriber discount. Um, so, if you... Uh, take a look. You'll see you get an extra subscriber discount. So the very first one, the very first one is the Cottontail. This is the Cottontail. Um, oh, I'll run through of what's in the box. Uh, I'll run through of what is in the box. Uh, in the box, I don't have everything here. I can show that tomorrow, though, Michelle. I'll show that tomorrow because I'll actually show the box tomorrow. So these are the cutting dies. If you look on the website, it will show you how these all go together. I cannot wait to make this little bunny rabbit Easter basket situation. It's going to just be the cutest, sweetest thing in the whole wide world. Then this is the one I'm going to cut out for you all, I think, tonight. I might do the lace one, too, just to show you. Uh, but this one is one of my favorites as well, because this one is the dotted heart. This is the dotted heart cunning die. Now, I want you to notice these are ginormous, gigunda, ginormous uh, uh, dies. Look how big these are compared to my hands. So this one um, is the dotted heart cutting die. And I can't wait to show you uh, what you can do with this one. And then last but certainly not least for this mini release is this one. This is going to be by far, this is the most popular one so far this evening. Look at how big it is compared to my hand. Uh, and it is, uh, look at this lace. Oh my goodness, you guys. Wait till you cut this out. Maybe I'll cut one. I'm definitely going to cut one of these out. Wait till you see. Oh, mwah, magnifico. Yeah, look how big these are. Look it. I mean, they're enormous. You could use this on a scrapbook. You could use this on, I mean, you can use it on whatever you want. So what I love so much about this particular die set, and I'm just going to have to open up this die set because it is what it is. We, uh, I do have samples at work, but we're going to need more than one. We're going to need more than one sample, obviously. So, okay, so let's see. So we have, so let's cut this just to six. We'll just do a six by, uh, we'll just do it this size here because I want to show you how cool this is. So Gemini Pro, wait a second, John. Well, the great thing about this, John, is I love the segue for the Gemini Pro, but I designed these with everyone in mind. Let me show you. They still fit on a standard plate. I did that on purpose. I really did do that on purpose. Normally, I, I say things like that, and I really didn't do it on purpose. It just it just happens, but I did do it on purpose <laughs> this time. All right, so let me grab the die cutting machine, and let me show you what we can do with this heart first. So, and of course, we're going to be using this, I mean, within an inch of its life, for the next several months uh, until new dies uh, launch. But let me show you. So the thing that I love so much about this one is it has two pieces. So let's start there. And the product image on the website is actually um, the rainbow paper is what I use for that. Oops, there goes my, hold on. I lost my pencil. I lost my pencil. Okay. So let me show you here. That was my number one intentions, was to make sure that uh, you could use it like that. All right, so I'm just going to run this through just to show you, because I think it's really fun. I think it's really cool. So you can use this die one of two ways. This is probably how I'm going to use it, because I'm going to do a shaker. I have so many ideas for these dies. Oh, my goodness. You guys are going to be sick of these dies. Well, not really. If you get them, I'm sure that you'll appreciate as many ideas as you can get. And I know I would. Okay, so this is the first way to use this die. There's going to be multiple, multiple ways to use all of these dies. Okay. So let me show you. Ooh, keep all these. That's free. That's a free gift with purchase. You know me. With a free, you get a free gift with purchase every time you. Um, Click this under the desk. Look at all those free gifts with purchase. I love that. 
This just literally cut like butter. And I know that, oh, I have a feeling it might have already been, might have already been through the old, uh, might have already been through the old die release sheets. I have a feeling, because this one was mine, so it might, they might have prepped it for me, I'm not sure. So I'm just popping out some of the circles now. You will always, almost always, always, always have to pop out some pieces when you are using this particular paper. This is the Glamour Stock uh, because it is um, just the makeup of it. It's just the way that it, um, just the way it's made. It has like, it has a coating on the front. Ooh, my phone just went bonkers. Oh, because it was the low stock. Low stock notifier for the lace ones. Don't worry, I think there are. If it says it's out of stock tonight, I will see if we can add. I will see if we can add more tomorrow. It just might be that it's um, just giving me a low stock notifier and it's not really, not really low. So let me show you. I think this was worth the wait. I hope it was worth the wait. Look at what it cuts out. So let me put something behind it so you can see. Isn't that so cool? Okay, so that's step one. Let me go grab my tape real quick. Hold on, I gotta grab my, gotta grab my magic tape. Talk amongst yourselves for a moment. Oh no, it's right here. I didn't even have to go anywhere. Didn't have to go far at all. Isn't that cool? I think it's really, really cool. I think it is super cool. All right, so now for my next trick, you can actually take, hold on. There we go. You can actually take the outside See how it lines up perfectly there. Oh my goodness, yeah, we'll have to figure out when Maria's next class will be. That is a great question. Hello, Michael. All right, so now I'm just going to, and I'm sorry if my head gets in the way. And I'm just going to center that on there. Oh my goodness, she's working. Well, there you go. Ask and you shall receive. She's working on the samples right now. Bibbity bobbity boop. There you go. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. She's a great teacher. She is a phenomenal teacher. Rave reviews. All right, so now if I run this through like this, oh my goodness, she said pop ups, and it's gonna, I'm gonna pop ups and doodads and my word. All right, so now. If you use this, now look. And if you're very, very ambitious, you can actually go in and replace all these little dots or just cut out another one of these and put it behind it. <laughs> because that's why I gave you the offset so that you could cut out the thing from behind it. But isn't that cool? I think it's really cool. I think it is. And I hope you all think it's really cool too because I had a lot of fun designing it. So it creates like a heart, almost like a heart doily. All right, so this one is going to come back to work with me so that we can uh, use it to do samples. Oh, good, Mary. I'll have 
the right sample on the top of it because we need we really do need more than one sample at the store okay and then i'm going to do one more to share with you because i wasn't planning on doing these tonight but the next one let's see which one do i want to do i think i want to do this one yeah so this is the Lace Borders dies, and look at how big these dies are. These are, I th have a feeling these are gonna be the first ones to go. So what you receive is you'll receive the outer piece. Let me pop this off of here. You'll receive the outer piece. My goodness. Oh, good Donna. You receive the lace piece, and then you'll receive the outer piece. So see that? The outer piece and this piece here. Okay. Now let's just grab, we'll just grab a piece of just plain white paper. This is actually, I believe, yeah, this is uh, the perfect one paper. Oh, she said the upside down page, that's funny. Well, it's a, it's a, um, it was a keepsake with the upside down page. All right. So now let's go ahead and run this guy through. Whoa. Spin your partner round and round. There we go. Oh my goodness. These lace dies. I'm telling you right now. When, by the time I'm done with these lace dies this year, we're going to be using lace. We're going to be using this, these lace dies on everything. Literally everything. I mean, they are... It's the size of them for me that I really like because that, that makes them very versatile. I think the size of them makes them very versatile. Um, I mean, they're, they're a big die. And you can use them, you know, obviously you can use them as, a, as an edge. You could use them. You can make them into a big sticker. You can watercolor. I mean, sky's the limit really oh my word okay are you ready oh, i'm so excited i already saw pieces fall out of it so that's always very exciting i know i want to foil them i want to i'm really excited for the um i'm very very excited well there's another there's some there i mean i think y'all know this already by now but there's a lot there are some other things that are coming in the dye department and uh, I'm, there's there's a lot of things that I'm very excited about in the world of dyes. Let me go ahead and pop some of these pieces out of here. Uh, this one I could tell was not dye release sheeted, but that's okay. I'll just do it whenever I get in tomorrow. Just need one of those. I need one of those brushes. Oh, it would work beautifully for that. You are right. So many ideas. Well, this is just, it's just such an intricate... Now, this is the first one. Remember, there are, you get five in the set. And I don't know if, um, if you are a subscriber, um, you'll want to go ahead and put it in your cart and take a look because it gives you a wonderful discount. You get an extra little discount as a subscriber. I'm sure some of you have already seen. The extra discount you get, which I love. I love being able to give an extra little discount. Paisley die or stamp set. We could do that. That is certainly not out of the question. That's for sure. So there you go. Look at, there we go. Isn't that beautiful? Now, I want you to notice I did a little bit of a different type of a design thing. So this doesn't pop out. These actually fold. So you can either fold them back. 
or you can clip them. You can do whatever you would like, but they do not cut out completely. Um, just because it would have made the die too uh, made it would have made the die too weak. And then what this does is it's missing this piece here because this little piece can actually clip into this piece and you can use it as a little ringlet. There's so much you can do with these. Put them on cupcakes, so much. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now, this is going to create like a very, very, very beautiful, very beautiful lace for you. And there are so many other ones as well. Now, also, you will get the outline. So... See that? Oops, wrong way. The outline for these. Which makes it super easy to put them together. All right, so that is everything that I have for y'all tonight. Um, napkin rings, you can put them around. Um, what was I going to say? You could put them around like a little candle. I mean, I'm sure that you all are thinking the sky is the limit. It does look very similar to the border set. It's been a while since since I've used that set. I mean, you could use these two together. I mean, you could create a belly band with them. I mean, just imagine the things you could do. I mean, you could do a belly band. Uh, you could pop this on here, but just use the other heart. I mean, again, so many ideas. So, so many ideas. Yes, very elegant. And you get ten of them in the set. Well, you get five lace pieces, and then you get the backgrounds, too. Which I think is great. I mean, for the price point, that's, you know, about four bucks a die, which I don't think is bad for how big the set is, I guess you could say. So there you go. So that is everything that I have for y'all tonight. Uh, I can't wait to use so many of these dies and die cut pieces. I um, was really excited to be able to debut them to you, and I'm glad that we were able to debut them um, early. This bundle, the bundle that is on the website right now, I cannot guarantee that it will last forever. I can tell you that once the other dies come in, we will probably um, end up doing a mega bundle if we have all of them left. If we don't have all of the dies left, then we will not do a mega bundle. Uh, we will keep the smaller bundle. So I just want you all to know, because I don't want anybody to email and say, oh my goodness, Christopher said there was going to be a bundle, and now there's not a bundle because some of them sold out. And, you know, it's. Uh, I, want you to, I want you to know that um, we're going to do our best to keep them in stock, but it's, uh, it, it, it is what it is. Sometimes, um, sometimes things go a little bit quicker than we anticipated. So uh, thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you enjoyed our uh nothing says i love you like ice cream card with our window and you can see the little candies that are back there on the shelves in the window i just think that's that's just so much fun and i love that you get the um ability to cut those out i just think it's so cool with the dies so thank you all so much for hanging out with me thank you for being a part of my life remember to create something every single day whether that is a special little valentine for someone you love or your own ending i appreciate you more than you'll ever know and i'll talk to you all soon